You know where you are? Here in the jungle, baby. Yes, You're gonna sir. die! Actually, it's the desert. Hey, welcome my terribles. My little terribles, thanks for being here on the vlog today. Guess where we are? We're out in the middle of the desert, see? Pay no mind. Pay no mind to like the casinos and stuff like that. But we're in the middle of the desert here. But today's mission, we're gonna go tame some wild animals. That's what we were, were kind of doing. Look, animals. The lion habitat. Here, I'll show you where we're going. Ready? Keep an eye. Lion habitat. Can you see that sign right there? So here's the deal. We are at the lion. Supposed to keep the lions back. I'm a little worried. There we go. Lion habitat. Whoa. All right. So here in Las Vegas. Oh, hold on. Let me get this for you. Hold on. Cool. Oh, there's the cubs. That's cute. Yeah, the cubs. All right. So anyway, here in Vegas, a long time ago, the MGM Grand Hotel used to have an exhibit with lions at them. I don't know if they still do or what the story is with that, but. This is now a preserve for lions that used to be there and they continue to care for them and they're, what are the cubs, right? Is that what it is? Tiger cubs, lion cubs, what are they? Lions, the lions. cubs. Cubs. I don't know. Not the least I'm not from Chicago, I don't know. But today, we have, and I'll tell you more about this later on, we are gonna go play with some lions. I think there's some giraffes and ostrich. We're gonna go, I, I'm gonna try to get some selfies with animals today, that's my goal. So, the killjoy. There she is. I planned it. IQ. But in the meantime, let's go get set up. Let's go check this out and then I'll tell you about it at the end. Yeah. Oh, that one. Let's get it. Oh, it's yeah. soft. IQ. What do you think? Great. <laughs> All right. Apparently, they do like a lot of field trips and stuff here for the local schools. So. So this is just the front office. We go in here. We use our Pogo Pass to check in, which we'll tell you about later. So we're checked in. I wanted to show this. And you can go back and pause that if you want to go check it out. So this is it. They walk us in here through the Lion Habitat Ranch, and then there's the trainers. There's volunteer information. So if you're local and you want to actually do some volunteer work, it looks like you can. Now, upon first coming in here, we got emus. There they are, right there. E moos, and that's an ostrich. Oh, look, it's gigantic! I want to challenge them to a race. You think I'd win? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so yeah, now we're going to head over here where we're going to see a left at the Jeep, right? Which is this way. I want to go see the giraffe painting. I've seen an elephant paint before, but I've never seen a giraffe paint, so this is going to be interesting. Now, as I'm walking, I'll show this to you again as we get back there, as we come back around. There's cages just with lions just sitting around doing nothing. But show you more as we get there. Let's go check out this giraffe. You want to pet him with this and help you? And then we show him his snack, and then at the same time, we can pet him. Look this way. These are reticulated giraffe, which means there's different species of them. The reticulated throat to the largest. Right now, he's approximately about 13 feet. Fully grown, he's going to be about uh, 18 to 20 feet tall. He's going to weigh at least 3,500 pounds. So with giraffes, if you look at his tongue, his tongue's going to grow an inch for every foot he grows in height. His tongue will stop at about 18 inches, but uh, it's this dark color. These guys only sleep the maximum two hours in the wild. Uh, they have such high metabolisms, metabolisms, they need to eat. So because they're only native to Africa, the tongue's always out in the sunlight. Uh, so that's melanin in his mouth to protect it from the burn. So uh, if you think Ozzy's confined to the barn, that is incorrect. His doors are open. He can go through the fence down there and he can go way down there. But his primary diet is uh, alfalfa and timothy hay. No, but see, he knows it's me. He likes to get me instead of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so that giraffe was one of the coolest things ever. I've never seen a giraffe paint before. I'm impressed. I can't even paint in a giraffe can. What does that say? 
So anyway, here what, uh, what they're telling me is that they're hoping to expand eventually this area to make an actual zoo here in Las Vegas because we don't have one. I mean, now we have a football team, a hockey team, baseball team. We have you know, all these kind of things coming in. We don't have a, a freaking zoo for the kids. Very hot here, which is probably a part of it, but yeah, animals live in hot places, right? So what we're doing now is we're walking around to look at the different lions and uh, see what else is here. I need to check another animal selfie off my list. Giraffe, mission completed. Let's see what else is here. As we're walking around, it's like all the lionesses are all sleeping. So I think Millie should put on some feathers and run around like an ostrich and I'm pretty sure they'll wake up. <laughs> Anybody here got an ostrich costume I could borrow? I'll get them up for you lickety splits. <laughs> Might be the last vlog, but <laughs> at least we went out with a bang, right? So over here we have another oh, good looking lion here. Let's see what this looks like. That's it. You're the only one getting fed today. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Oh. He's waiting to eat some. Big roar. Come on, give me one big one. Come on, give me a big one. Oh. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the Lion Habitat Ranch here in it's Henderson, right? Here in Henderson, Nevada. The Lion Habitat, they had, what did they say, 20 lions still here? Mm -hmm. Varying ages. Ostriches, emus, a giraffe that paints. How cool was that, right? And uh, just various other animal and fowl, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, we were here around noon, and it's about 1.30 now, so a good 90 minutes of just kind of walking around, taking it easy, and just checking out the animals is nice. It was actually a very peaceful... Uh, event there wasn't a lot of like it, there was a, a minor crowd today but it wasn't like a lot of hectic stuff it was just kind of relaxing to sit and watch the animals just lay there and grumble once in a while it was kind of cool uh what do you think i liked it i i've want, been wanting to come here for a long time and uh so we got the pogo pass and then we saw um that this was part of it we that was the main attraction so i couldn't wait to get here um it's smaller than I thought, but it's still pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, all the lions, they said, ate this morning, so they're a little tired. But um, able just to see them relaxing, a um, couple of their roars, I guess, and a uh, couple of the tricks that the trainer, the volunteers get them to do when they're feeding them, get them to stand up or stuff. Um, their growls, they're, they're still pretty fierce because they're still wild animals. They're just in captivity. So they're not tamed, not your domestic cats. Um, yeah. But you have plenty of gates between you and apparently they don't climb. 
No. I'm not afraid. They get loose. I they, was a little afraid. Here's the thing. They can't climb a chain link fence. They may outrun me, but I will climb to the top of that fence. They will just jump and get their claws and drag you down. That's all. They, they better be quick. I got reflexes like a cat. They are cats. <laughs> and here's the funny part. There was a uh, one of the cats there named Cheeto and uh, IQ back here. See the orange? That's he was eating Cheetos. He had to get Cheetos. He had to get Cheetos because he saw a cat named Cheeto. How funny was a that? Lioness. <laughs> lioness. So, yeah. the Quinterables would recommend you come check this out. Earlier in the vlog, uh, it freeze frame it when I got the sign with the prices, and you could see that locals pay a different price in a lot of cases here in Vegas than visitors do. And you bring kids, there's a price to bring a whole family. I think it's unlimited kids as far as I could tell. But double check for yourself if you're going to bring a big group. Um, the thing we talked about earlier was a thing called Pogo Pass, and if you are in Vegas, do a search for Vegas Pogo Pass or go on Groupon, which is where we found ours. The Pogo Pass includes several things to do in the city, including uh, the Cowabunga Bay Water Park, the Lion Habitat, there's bowling every week. And normally it's like 150 bucks each, I think, I think so. something like that. But Groupon had it for 34 a person or 39, well, depending they, if you had a coupon had it for or not. 39, and we had an additional coupon. But on the Pogo site last night, they they're also still running the special themselves for 39 dollars yeah. for the pass. Um, it's a really good deal. We have a couple other adventures to go on with that pass. Yeah. So at the time of posting this video, that was the deal on Groupon as well as Pogo Pass. So it'll probably change if you're watching this later on. But there's always deals to be found, and this is one of them. So this was well worth it. And, you know, for the price of what a family would cost, would it was actually cheaper to buy the Pogo Pass, and we still have more things to do with it. So uh, I, I don't know. I give a I have a couple tips for visitors, yeah, yeah, yeah. though. Um, you're out in the direct sun the whole entire time. We decided to come down in April when it's still cool. Um, bring a hat or and or sunglasses. Um, our son had a like a hiking hat. It's actually called a Panama, bucket hat. A Panama Jack hat um, to keep him in the shade. And we all had our sunglasses and we had water to walk around. Uh, snacks for kids. Um, snow cones for a dollar. Ian really enjoyed that and then visit their gift shop. All their proceeds go to taking care of the animals and these animals are costly to feed. They yeah. had some really, um, they actually had some pretty jewelry there too, keychains. Where's the keychain we bought? I gave it to Ian. Oh, we have a keychain IQ of Ozzy it. painted himself and on the back of it, it's a picture of Ozzy painting. Yeah, we bought a keychain painted by a giraffe. How many people can say that? You know, except for people that shopped here. But <laughs> we learned uh, a couple other things that I'll share with you quickly and you can see this when, when you come here. If the male Oh, yeah. Lion that's, that's the... turns his hindquarters in your direction and you see a tail lift up. Run. Run. They say, run. Get they say run to the left because when they pee, it sprays to the right. They spray. Yeah, they, they spray. About a good 15, 20 feet off of their uh, tailpipe, they can they can hit you. Some people got so sprayed. People got a little bit of a little bit of a shower by a lion today he which was lucky. I yeah. grabbed his arm and pulled him out of the way, but he almost got I sprayed all over his snow cone. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't eat the yellow snow, you know that thing? Don't eat the yellow snow cones either. So I saw the lion, he stepped down off his platform and I was like, you know, he's you know the eye of the tiger? Well the eye of the eye of the lion today was that he's gonna take a leak soon. And that's what he did. He turned his says, that's it, I'm out of here. And uh some some little kid got sprayed, his dad just, you know, gunned out of there, and then uh, the little boy just got sprayed and he's like, What? <laughs> it's funny. So there's your tip if you uh you see the male lions with the big you know big fuzzy mane Me. deal going on. Um yeah, if they turn their hindquarters, lift the tail, I'd move if I were you. So, but I'll let you experience that for yourself. So, lion. Didn't they say they want to expand it into a bigger zoo, or, or was that? Yes, uh, so... where the giraffe was. I was asking about how did the giraffe end up at a lion habitat, and it was um, the plan that they're hoping for in the future is to buy some of the surrounding area when it becomes available to turn it into a full-fledged zoo because be awesome. here in Vegas we, we had it like a little zoo I don't even know if you'd call that a zoo no, from, I don't know what that was exactly but was we don't have a, a legit zoo here so that's what they're hoping to do here eventually in the future and they got the land because this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere all right guys so there you have it lion habitat ranch is the name of it in the content and description below I'll try to put some links so you can find it for yourself as well as link to the pogo pass so you could see that if you're getting this in time hit the thumbs up button because you know this was a cool time I mean let's let's be real and uh, subscribe because we need subscribers there's a lot of stuff going on on YouTube right now and we need the engagement so we can get this message out to families in Vegas that there's more to do in Vegas than just gambling
gambling and alcohol and stuff like that. There's actually families here, and he we're doing fun family stuff. And I think IQ's got something to say. What do you to want say? to say about What's the going on? habitat? Well, it was pretty great. But, and I'm going to say I have my own channel, too, on YouTube. I'm, I'm with the Quintables. It's our... Well, what's the name of your vlog? Agent IQ. Agent IQ. And what you I do is you, to tell about the line you go to quintarables.com and you'll see okay. Agent IQ vlogs as well. And there's also a place to subscribe to his vlog as well. He's very excited. So, all right, guys, we're going to wrap this and up. Can Quintarables. I can I tell you some? Can I tell you something? When you go to my vlog and like, and work, and there's like a lot of subscribers, I'm going to have a challenge and make my own little Buckley plushie. And. And whoever wins it, the plushie gets to keep it forever. Why don't you tell the tell anybody about the lion habitat? What was your favorite thing? Well, all right. What was your favorite thing in the lion habitat? Uh, Cheetos. <laughs> the Cheeto the lion and the Cheeto snack, of course. <laughs> Leave it to a six-year-old to uh, do that kind of commentary. All right, guys, we're wrapping up. We're gonna get out of here. I think uh, I, I saw them eating like raw chicken. Now I'm hungry, so. Time to get going. Quinn Terribles, out. out.